Uh, so much easier for women to be single and dating. Isn't that so, ladies? Because women can get laid any time you want. Can't you, girls? I'm going to take that as a yes. Let me tell you, I don't even know why y'all bother to do your hair and makeup, get new outfits. You know, you can be retarded some guy want to fuck you. Do you know that? Hey, sadly, that's an understatement, and I have proof. All right, this is the bottom line for me on this subject. All right, end the story, case closed. Anybody see that thing on A&E where they had these conjoined twin sisters who were joined to head? It was one really yeah. big girl over six foot tall, little sisters grown out of her head like a little mini me. She wanted to be a country western singer. Lori and Dory. Did anybody see that for real, right? And the big girl was not a virgin. Somebody had tapped the big girl, folks, all right? It just made me think, you know when women all worry because of a pimple on their nose? Oh, I can't go on now, pimple on my... You could have somebody grown out of your fucking head, all right? And still get the pudding at the end of the night. How horny was a kid who jumped on that? He must have better closing time to clubs. Oh man, all the single-headed chicks already shot me down. Hey, who's that two-headed man who just walked in? Let me break off a piece of that. Like most men, he's probably bragging the next day. Had a threesome last night. Twins. Oh, you people are disgusting. Yeah, but I don't even know where to meet women. You know, you go to these clubs, the fellas know, you go to these clubs, you know, e even if you see a pretty woman you like in the club, she's always surrounded by two or three of her ugly friends who basically serve as rodeo clowns to keep you away from her. <laughs> this cock-blocking gauntlet you gotta run through. <laughs> then you got the gold diggers work in the room. These are the women you talk to for like five minutes and they'll look at you like, how much did you say your name was? <laughs> Oh, it's all about the sex. That's all we have to get out there. Do we love the sex people? Do we have any Puerto Ricans here, for Christ's sake? <laughs> I don't see any flags, so I guess not. Right. Let me tell you, I like sex as much as anybody, or probably more, but you know what? I'm just tired and burnt out on all the PR and footwork that goes into getting it. You know what I'm saying, fellas? I don't know if I'm getting old or lazy or what. You know, when it comes to getting laid, I'm like a lazy old infielder in that if you hit it right to me, well, I'll put out my glove and snag it. But I'm not diving for it anymore. Right? I don't have the stamina, the will, or the cash to be chasing people around town. But you know, you gotta make an effort, don't you fellas? I'll make a good effort. I'm like the cheetah. You know that cat that runs 70 miles an hour? Do you watch have wildlife programs? That's how I am. I will chase you hard and fast for a short distance. <laughs> After that, I'm waiting for a slower game to come around. I'm waiting for like a big girl with a bad leg to walk my way. I will tear that shit up on the open prairie. 